What is IPv6? Why do they sell it as some super new technology, but we almost never see it? Well, let's break down what an IP address is. IP, Internet Protocol, was created back in the 70s to give every device on the network an address. In the 80s, the Internet started to grow, and the IPv4 standard was approved. That's an address made of four sets of numbers, and it could provide 4.3 billion unique addresses. At that time, it felt like an endless amount. But the Internet started growing way faster than expected. Even though the critical point came in 2011, when regional registries began announcing that the free blocks of IPv4 had run out, the IPv6 standard was actually approved back in 1998. This address is much longer and has 340 antecedent combinations. That's even more than the number of stars in the universe. IPv6 still hasn't taken over the world only because it's not compatible with IPv4, and switching all users worldwide would take a lot of time and money. But internet giants like Google and Facebook already run fully on IPv4. IPv6 addresses, masking them under IPv4 using a technology called Network Address Translation. This allows hundreds of separate devices to work under just one IPv4 address. Subscribe.